Hey, Hernando, Jared Tanner, Realtor with Century 21 Alliance Realty, back at you with another Hernando County Spotlight Saturday. Today, I'm out at the historic area of Richlum at the Richlum General Store. Here with me, I have Eric Burks, current owner of the Richland General Store. Eric, thanks for having me here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. So, if you could, tell me a little bit about the history of the General Store here in the area. Oh, it was, uh, the store was founded in 1922 by my great uncle, Sid Prince. Uh, in 1920, it was robbed and burnt to the ground. Oh, wow. And that was January. He built it back and reopened it in February of 1922. So, less than a month, he built this building back. This original building from 1920. It, uh, it served as a general store and post office for the community of Richland until 1936. So, uh, so about the area, uh, was what was going on around the time that this opened up? I, I know there was a lot of you know, ag agricultural and significance the, like that. The two main industries out here at that time was uh, turpentine and uh, cucumber. Oh, wow. They were all the two rubber car train loads that they out here at Richland. Really? That's just quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Most people don't realize the name Rich Long means Long Dirt for Soil. Oh, it was named as Rich Dirt. Uh, in 1926, this was all private owned. Uh, two gentlemen out of Miami and then owned half of this, they named it Rich Long Land Company at the selling point for Northerners to try to get them to buy the dirt or buy the land. Uh, now, my great uncle actually lived across the road where they were in the clubhouse and dirt road. Railroad tracks, and they would bring in northerners on the railroad and put them in the clubhouse and wine them and dine them. And they had a little garden out there that they'd show you what you grow that time of year in Florida and try to sell a 40 acre tract of land. Oh, wow, that's awesome! Very cool. Awesome history. So, inside the store here, I know you have some pretty cool time specific items. Uh, what are some of the some fun ones, and what can we find inside the store? Well, we uh, we carry a lot of the old cast irons. Uh, I, I try to search and find stuff that you can't find here in the so We still have hard soap that we make ourselves. <laughs> nice. uh, most of our most of our canned products are put up by the Amish. Once we first reopened in 2016, we tried to we tried to can everything ourselves and it just got to be too much. So we ended up going to the Amish and the reason I'll use them is they, they can the old fashioned ones. They don't need a lot of the and stuff. Oh, awesome Eric. Thanks so much for allowing me to be out here today. Really appreciate it, and I look forward to uh, coming back soon. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining me here today at the Richland General Store. I hope you are able to visit this awesome store and historic site of Florida soon. Make sure you tune in next week for another Hernando County Spotlight Saturday.